Tom, let's go back to before this move and also Paul George. The thought was that Boston actually wanted both of them. Sign Hayward worked a deal to get Paul George. He ends up going to Oklahoma City for Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabonis. Do you think that Danny Ainge could have gotten – or uh, let me rephrase that. Do you think the Pacers could have gotten a better deal if they waited to see where Gordon Hayward ended up? Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Why not? Well, look, in fantasy land where we're doing it up on the board, we I'm just showing how it can happen. Right. It's all just in this make-believe world. They didn't know they were going to get Hayward. They didn't know that Boston. Right. You know, now might they give up something more to really go for it? Yeah, maybe. But the Pacers can't wait on that. Had they waited, they'd be sitting here today where all those other offers likely would have gone away. And then you're dealing just with Danny Ainge the leverage is all gone. You're sort of stuck with Paul George. Plus, if you're Indiana, you're looking to make the move to signals whatever direction you're going in. And they must have liked Oladipo and Monte Yunus enough to say we get two real players back. Mm -hmm. We're going to build around Miles Turner for the future. We're not going to be this free agent game. We're not going to play that at the big high stakes level. We're going to just build a team that's going to be competitive in the East. This is my logic on this. And I think you know, you can bang them around all you want that they didn't get enough. There's no assurance they'd get more today. I really don't know who to believe. I've talked to teams that said they made better offers. I've heard reports, mm -hmm. and we've heard that Boston offered all sorts of draft picks. I've heard Pritchard, uh, you know, reference the fact that a lot of these, these deals that were supposedly offered never actually materialized. I don't think the market for Paul George was that great. Okay. okay? I just don't think the trade market was that great for him because everybody knows that he was going to probably go out to L.A. in a year. Right. So OKC's thinking we're getting rid of a big contract in Oladipo anyway. We can move on for some bonus after a year, and maybe we can convince our own guy in Russ. So that made it more of a fit for their gamble with right. the Thunder. The problem that I have with people saying that they couldn't wait is why would Presti say no to the Paul George Sabonis Oladipo deal today? Why would he say no to that? He may or may not have. My guess is he put him on the clock. He said, you got the deal until a certain period of time or it's gone. And okay, then, and, I, and I get in theory it would be like, okay, you're holding up the rest of my free agency, but I, if I were Pritchard and I really wanted to see if Boston would get back into this thing, I'm not to interrupt you, I just, some of these deadlines that I hear about, well, that's your deadline. You know, right. like, yeah, and what's it, to say you can't come back and here's the way it, it works. You are having one on one conversations. Mm -hmm. Someone says to you, this is the offer until this time. Do you want it or not? Mm -hmm. That's a deadline. You have a decision to make. You can reject it and wait or you can accept it. So you talk about it, knowing everything else that's really on the board and you either take it or you don't, you know, and as time goes by, it, the leverage was going to get worse for Indiana, and they're faced with a really challenging situation to turn their expiring asset, who's going to L.A. next year, mm -hmm. into something, and they chose what they chose. And I also don't think, you know, for the Boston question that you started here yeah. with, Michael, I don't know how anybody, even with the Celtics having all of these picks, who would ever applaud the Celtics moving a top-five draft pick for Paul George for one year? No. Mm. So, you know. He would get crushed for that. Right. So and deservedly I, so, quite honestly. I, right? yeah, and I don't think they thought, you know, they could say all they want about it, like, oh, we'll get them in here, the Celtics culture, banners green. Well, if it's not, if it's not, <laughs> if it's not understood <laughs> right. um, as an extension prior to him making that trade, Ainge can't make that trade, so I had no problem with him.